everyone and welcome back to Homestead Rewind. Today I have several projects that's going to require the use of my jigsaw that I've had for years and years. Never once have I ever changed the blade on this jigsaw. Today I'm going to show you my first try at that. Come along with me. Hopefully the fan in the background is not making too much noise. But I'm looking at this jigsaw and I see that there are two screws here. I'm assuming that that's what loosens the blade. So I'm going to use my flat screwdriver, loosen those screws. I'm afraid to unloosen them too much. I think the whole thing might fall apart on me. So, And I won't figure out how to get it put back together. So I'm just going to loosen them. There it is. Now let's see. These blades look nothing like the blade I just took out of there. But it said universal shank. So we'll see. Maybe my jigsaw is just too old. I've had it for a very long time. It's pretty gunked up in there too. Okay, that's as far in as it goes. Trial and error here. This could be a disaster, or it could be first try, I made it. Tighten them up pretty good. Still, not coming out. Even though, let me show you. See the difference? I don't know if that maybe broke off at some point or what, but let's see if it works. We'll get some wood. One of the projects that I want to get done um, using this jigsaw is to cut down this board so that it fits. I want to make this log that we cut out of the farmhouse's yard uh, back when the mulch guys were here to help me and turn it into a flower bed to plant my to transplant my pansies in. But first, I need to see if that blade is going to stay in the jigsaw. So let's give it a try. Luckily, the flower bed is right next to our electric box. This is where our other camper spot is. It's been a long time since I used this. finding with returning to the homestead is that I'm having to learn to just be brave and try these things that I'm, I've always been so nervous about in the past. The bottom line is Jay has to work 40 hours a week and it leaves little time for him to get projects done around on the farm. So I've got to try to pick up the slack wherever I can and just being brave enough to try to learn these new skills with things that I'm totally unfamiliar with is a struggle. But I am getting there, just like with my chainsaw. I'm really getting more confident with the chainsaw. I can get firewood, and especially for the smokers, so that I can cook outdoors, and just to have us a bonfire when friends come over. So when I tried to saw the log, that came out. Maybe it's not right. Maybe I didn't do something right. I'm going to try and put it in one more time and tighten it up a little bit tighter. See if that works. Oh, yeah, that's loose there already, I can see. Tighten them up a little tighter. Let's see if that helps. Much 
much better. I just didn't have it tightened up enough. I know I should be wearing safety glasses, but my son borrowed them the other night and I don't know what he did with them. I do have these glasses on. Um, the safety glasses wouldn't really work. Anyway, over these glasses, I'd have to go in and put my contacts in. And right now, we're working with, I'm working with my eye doctor to try to get some contacts that will help me see far away and close up at the same time. Don't know if we're ever going to get that accomplished. Looks like I'm going to have to pull the chainsaw out to do this. Thought I might get by with the jigsaw, but there's just not enough room there. So, you guys get to see me start and use the chainsaw. I guess I should explain what it is I'm exactly doing here. I forgot to do that. Let me show you. When the guys cut the tree, it just sort of broke off and there's that groove there. I'm trying to make it flush so that I can actually screw my side panels on and it be even and as tight as I can get so that I don't lose soil when it, after I get stuff planted in there. So I'm gonna try to chainsaw that smooth right there. It's just that little chunk. It took me a long time to figure out how I need to hold the chainsaw in order to start it. I can't use the foot pedal down there because I'm awkward, I guess. It's on the wrong side for me. So this is the best way I've found to be able to start my chainsaw. Got it to fire. Gonna kick that choke off. My son is terrified when I pick it up. But you know what? I'm gaining confidence. And I'm getting stuff done that I need done. change my battery. I don't know if it's going to hold out or not. Yeah, going to change the battery. store uh, near us, uh, in the big town near us, uh, oftentimes has these scrap pieces of wood and they're just like, whoops, just like for a dollar and it's because maybe there's a crack in it. But I believe for my purposes this is going to be fine. I'm a little bit nervous that when I start sawing that it's going to split completely in two. But I have another piece of wood up there if it does. We're going to try it and see. When I went to change the battery out, I realized that the tip that I had on was starting to round off. 
I had the wrong tip. These are things that my husband, you know, and most people that work with power tools take for granted. When you are brand new to this, that really looked like it fit the, the screw head that I had. But after, that's probably why it took so long and was so hard for me to drill it in. That's my theory. We're going to test it out. I did change the head, and I'm going to see what how that works. But it's really important for me to share, especially to you ladies, um, older ladies, that have never messed with power tools. It's really hard because we want to know exactly what we're doing. And people who have been doing it for years and years just take for granted that we ought to already know that stuff. That's a struggle that me and Jay have been working through. Um, he's beginning to realize that he has to literally teach me how to do something, not tell me how to do it. <laughs> but here I am all by myself figuring it out. And you can too. Holy moly, it's humid out here. I'm sweating out some toxins for sure. Hey, that looks like it's going to fit pretty good. I don't know that I got that cut enough, but I'm afraid to cut it anymore. I'm afraid it'll go ahead and split in two, so we're just going to live with this. It's going to serve the purpose. Oh yeah, that works much better. So remember, see, even this is a learning experience. How do I hold this gun? How do I hold the board at the same time? It would be nothing for Jay. But for me, it's a learning experience. Ugh, I have to keep it in there. It's so frustrating. Maybe rounding that off too. It may be operator error. <laughs> I don't know. I got a flower box. I'm ready to fill it with my amended soil. My last video was on how I'm amending my own soil. Go check it out. Woo! Hot! Well, as you can see, the storms have started to roll in. Um, I am afraid that tonight we're going to get our very first test in the camper. They're calling for straight line winds, a possibility to, of tornadoes and large hail. I got my pansies planted just in time. They're going to be able to be watered in naturally. The thunder's coming. So far I ain't seen any lightning. Let me go inside the gazebo and I'll finish off this video. Hopefully the fan that we have installed here in the gazebo is not going to be too much for this video. I'm sorry if it is. I'm still learning. I again forgot to put on my uh, microphone. When will I remember to do that? I wanted to bring home this video by saying if you are an older woman, I'm 52 years old, and you've never touched a power tool in your life, which I have, I, can, I can't say that I've never touched one, but to do, especially like what I did today, no, I, I might have screwed in a screw for a picture or something like that. I did use my jigsaw a long, long, long time ago to carve pumpkins with, but that's about the extent. And the chainsaw, forget it, I never touched a chainsaw until we moved back to the farm this time. And that's just out of necessity. There's just so much, that, so much brush and stuff that needs to be cleared out. And, Jay just simply, he doesn't have the time. I, I don't have the heart to 
working when he comes out home after work, even though he does a lot of times. Like last night, he raced home and brush hogged the field before he had supper because he knew this storm was coming tonight. But I wanted to talk to you older ladies and your younger ones too. I realize that I've depended way too much on Jay or Jess to do these things that I'm perfectly capable of doing, but was just too scared to try myself. And I'm getting braver. And while Jay and Jesse's help is very important, because there are some things I just physically cannot do, and they will always remain very important. Here comes the rain. I've got to hurry. Let me try to get this point. The sense of achievement that I feel for being able to handle what is a small task for them, a giant task to me, on my own, is so liberating and so encouraging. And I feel like I'm ready for my next challenge. Okay, here comes the wind. It's probably going to blow my camera over. I better get inside. Until next time, love and peace to everyone.